Others were excited to finally be free of these years long back and forth between she and Kenya that had more than ran its course. Kenya agrees it felt like a weight was lifted. Damn, it was that bad? A ton of bricks was on you, girl. Just weighing you down. Was that what it was? I for rest of this year, free from bullshit. That means relationship, friendship, um, financial shit. <laughs> free from bullshit. Sometimes I wonder if this house falls. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Saja Craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Orange Street segment. If you haven't, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share my video, turn on post notification if you already on the team. Okay, so we're just gonna get on this block <coughs> and we're gonna knock on Kenya door one more again. No, no, we in here. Okay, so I did a video on Kenya yesterday make sure you go check that video out she's sick of being the villain she's sick of having the title personally i didn't think you had the damn title but it is what it is you carried yourself like you normally carry yourself to me pure point blank but she's saying no you know she just feel like she was pegged out to be the villain throughout the seasons and she turned a new leaf because certain people are gone <clears throat> We're going to get into that. <laughs> and she have, you know, different factors out of her life and stuff like that. And she just feel like she can be herself again. And I was like, okay, if that's how you feel, um, Kenya, we will roll with it. So that was that video. Now we're going to talk about her and Portia. So let's just get into it. I ain't even going to hold you. It says a few factors play into Kenya feeling free to be who she wants to be on TV. Though one sticks out, her longtime friend me, Portia Williams is no longer a part of the cast. Portia opted out of filming season 14, instead focusing on a family theme spinoff, which aired this past winter. And we all seen how that went. It didn't, it didn't really paint you in a good light. Um, Portia didn't paint you in a good light, but moving on. It's a great season. It's well produced and it definitely got us to be back honest and not a lot of girls started self-producing and we've gotten away from that. I'm like, what the hell she mean by self-producing? Then I thought about it. Remember um Portia had that Royal Housewives of Atlanta producer who told um us that he the one who pushed her to apologize to Candy about the whole, you know, Phaedra and that situation. And it really wasn't her. And they was, yeah, that. Maybe she meant by that. I don't know. And if you watch their show, you can see the show villains versus the real villain. Though doesn't explicitly reference Portia by name. While some viewers were sad to see Portia step aside, others were excited to finally be free of these years long back and forth between she and Kenya that had more than ran its course. Kenya agrees it felt like a weight was lifted. Damn, it was that bad? A ton of bricks was on you, girl. Just weighing you down. Was that what it was? I feel that we were, is we were, not necessarily by my own doing especially in the last season she shares i definitely made that offer for peace extending the olive branch and it was not returned i realized it wasn't at that point i was ready to move on and yes i'm free of that situation and happy for people to move on too when you do all that you can and people still reject your friendship then it's time to let them go Yes, let go, let God, let it be free from bullshit. That's just how we're going to roll the rest of this year. Free from bullshit. That means relationship, friendship, um, financial shit. <laughs> free from bullshit at this point. Because life is too short. People are getting taken out of this world left and right. You got to have peace within yourself, within your surroundings. I'll protect y'all energy at the end of the day. Protect your energy. My energy is my peace. <laughs> I need positivity. Everywhere I go, positivity. I don't need no bad vibes. Mm -mm, nope. But um, that's all I really had to say about Kenya. And it looks like she's, you know, 
really step into her stepping into her own which is good to see and she said she'll still check a bitch <laughs> she'll still check a bitch but she'll do it with dignity and class <laughs> i said okay <laughs> I roll with that team twirl. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section below and we'll see you on the next word on the street.